Pure Access Cloud is evolving to 4.0. Except for the login screen. That's staying the same. But once you log in, managing access control at your facilities, like quickly finding a user and deactivating them, or adjusting an upcoming event by 30 minutes, or making the history panel more visible on your dashboard can be done with consistency, familiarity, and speed. Incorporating the material design approach from Google uses familiar visual elements across every page, every pop-up menu, and every window. To help you adjust efficiently to the new Peer Access Cloud, we'll look at four things. We'll look at how viewing, changing, and compiling in other words, the basics are done. We'll also look at how rules and schedules have been streamlined. We'll look at how to get things done with the speed dial. And lastly, and very importantly, what engage is and what it means to pure access. First up, the new look. But it's more than a look. The new design incorporates elements that you may already be familiar with chevrons, or that little arrowhead you click on to expand or contract things, sorting information by column, and even rearranging the columns themselves. Filtering information from within the column and making changes to that information right within the current view by clicking the actions icon. There's no longer a user details page because you can view user information right in this view. And when you want to change something, it's over here under the three dot actions icon. Users, access points, reports, tenants, and more are viewed and controlled the exact same way. So if we want to deactivate a user, we go to users Navigate to the user by scrolling, filtering, or searching. Click on the Actions icon, and there we are. Just don't forget to update your access points, or compile, which can be found in the top toolbar. Next up, Schedules. You'll still find everything related to schedules and rules in the Access Control screen. The Schedule screen also has the same look and feel as the other screens. There's a calendar view and a list view that can be manipulated in the same way with sorting, actions, and so on. But that's not the big deal. The big deal is that the essence of schedules is now built in to everything in the access control screen. The operation and the language has been streamlined. In versions of peer access prior to 4.0, schedules contained the when and only the when. Notice how the only information contained within a single schedule is a day and a time. When you wanted to use it, you'd make something, such as a weekly rule, and choose the who and where, and the when would be the schedule. In 4.0, the when is no longer separate. Who, where, and when are all together within the same rule. The same is true of events and holidays. The when is right inside. So in summary, what was once called a schedule is now the when in a rule, event, or a holiday. And the word schedule now refers to your collection of events, rules, and holidays. We could have named this tab the event slash weekly rule slash holiday tab, but we just didn't think that rolled off the tongue. Schedules seems more euphonious. The calendar view also has more interactivity, changing any aspect of an item, the who, the where, and even the when, can be accomplished directly on the calendar item itself. Just don't forget to update your access points or compile when you're done. Next up, the speed dial. You've probably seen something similar on other websites, a single icon, roll your mouse over to expose it, and click on what you need, like creating a new user group from the user screen. The speed dial is speedy, but it's also contextual. If you're in users, it looks like this. If you're in access points, 
it looks like this. Access control or schedules looks like this. And dashboard looks like this. So when we want to add a new widget to the dashboard, we can use the speed dial to do it. Lastly, engage. What does it mean and what do you need to do about it? Engage is the name for a family of Schlage products, three of which are relevant to peer access. They are the NDE lock, the LE lock, and the Schlage RC, or reader controller. Engage is also the name of the service that helps maintain these products with its own app, website, and user account. Once you decide to put one of these products alongside your other reader controllers, you will take your tenant through a transition process to link the Engage service to Pure Access. More information about Engage is available through your sales representative, technical support, and other training webinars and videos. For now, it's only important to know that these options are coming soon and that when you're ready to use them, we have training and support information available to help you successfully integrate these products. So that's it. We've covered the new look and feel, the streamlined improvements to schedules, how to obtain mastery over the speed dial, and how to approach adding Engage products to your account. For more information or resources about Pure Access, visit www.isonus.com. For information about Engage products, such as the Schlage NDE lock, visit us.allegion.com. For additional support, please contact your sales representative or call customer care at 877-671-7011.